So I want to talk to you about a few enemies of decision making. Because when it comes to the process of making decisions in your life, there are a couple of things you need to be aware of. Today, I want to talk about decision making enemy number one. Let me begin by reading a Bible text. It says, you shall not need to fight in this battle. Set yourselves, stand ye still, and see the salvation of the Lord with you. O Judah and Jerusalem, fear not, nor be dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them, for the Lord will be with you. 2 Chronicles chapter 20 and verse 17. I want to talk about fear of staying still. The Bible says, set yourselves, okay? Stand in the same place. Find a good place to see where you're going. Then it says, stand still. This is possibly the hardest thing for people to do in this DIY generation. Do it yourself. See, standing still doesn't mean being inactive. It means being inactive temporarily simply because you are active spiritually. In other words, pray about it first before you do something. This type of standing still isn't just about literally standing still. You can stand still and get hit by a train if you don't get out of the way. It's more than that. Standing still in this sense is waiting for God to make things happen in your life while you are living your life by faith and hope and trusting in Him. Standing still means being grounded in something and not falling for everything. Standing still is about waiting to see, the Bible says, the salvation of the Lord. Now when it says salvation, it's not talking about being saved in a spiritual sense, but it's being delivered, being rescued, getting help for the things you need in this life. But let me go ahead and talk about the fear factor, okay? It says, fear not. Fear paralyzes you. What makes people afraid most of the time is the fear of missing out on something better. People don't want to stay in the same place because they think the grass is greener on the other side. Some people don't want to stay because they are afraid of commitment, not being willing to put in the work to make something get better. So they leave. The fear of being hurt. Some people are afraid to stick around because they are afraid that something bad will happen or their feelings will be hurt. The fear of not belonging. Some people go to some place where they feel accepted because they don't feel like they belong. Other people don't stay because they are afraid of change. They are afraid of change. And so when changes begin to happen where they are, they look for another place to go to because it's safer. The fear of fighting. Some people don't feel that some things are worth fighting for. Whether it's a job, a, a relationship, an idea, they, they run away because they're afraid to fight. But the Bible says, don't be afraid, don't be dismayed. So I want you to look deep within yourself and deal with this fear. And when you deal with it, pray, Lord, help me stay focused, stay connected, stay faithful, stay spiritual, stay in touch, and stay committed. And remember that any decision you allow God to be a part of is a good decision. God bless you.